where everything created by God comes together in one accord in service of their Father and in obedience to God. Brotherhood means God and everything he has created put together, bound by the love of Christ. The cross is our ability to tolerate one another, to be able to coexist in that environment because without the ability to carry the cross, the family structure will break down, the society will break down, even you cannot coordinate with one another and relate, relate to one another in your business environments, in school, or everywhere you find yourself. The cross is the instrument that makes the brotherhood of man to be possible. And when you've come to that harmony of understanding in the cross, then you have the star of glory, which is the Christ, where there is peace, where there is concord, where there is harmony, where there is love, where there is understanding. And the mission of the Father in bringing brotherhood of the cross and star into the world is to bring all the human families together with all the creations and nature, the birds of the air, the fishes in the water, the animals in the bush, the protoplasm, the plankton, all the spiritual entities in oneness, bonded together by the blood of Christ and where the Garden of Eden will be reenacted again, where everything will be in peace. So Brotherhood of the Cross and Star is a home for all, a new kingdom of God on earth. And he called it Christ Universal Spiritual School of Practical Christianity why we practice the true love for one another to exist in peace. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. May I interrupt? Do you guys want to add anything? Yes. Yeah, because you can transfer the because it, it, if it's if we're, if we're all hopping around, it kind of seems a little more entertaining, a little more yes. educa you know, more exciting. So yes. if you guys want to throw in something, yeah, yeah. so well, I've got Bill. another question. No, no, for no, the... Brother Bill, like the question you raised now, yeah, you can still call for their intake. Yes, for that it, question. Yeah, because what if he left or, off something that Emmanuel wants to say? To, okay. or, what do you <clears> have to say? To Does anyone else have something to add to that? Absolutely. Yes. Our Lord Jesus Christ taught us to pray. The Lord's Prayer, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. That kingdom that Christ taught the disciples to pray has finally arrived upon the earth. Someone has to bring the kingdom from heaven to the earth. And that has manifested today. The new name that he gives to his kingdom, he calls it Brotherhood of the Cross and Star. It is the new name given by God to his kingdom. The name that will reign from today and reign for eternity. Brotherhood of the Cross and Star is the new kingdom of God, now on earth, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 And to add to that, really, we are apt to take this message out to the entire world so that the world will really understand back to the prayer, that the prayer that Lord Jesus Christ gave us has manifested. The kingdom has come. And as also written in that prayer, thy will be done so that the world can realize as the will of God is being manifested to the human family, they will be able to understand what that will is for the human family. We are all children of Adam and Eve. One fatherhood, one motherhood, one brotherhood. Amen. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Our next question is directed to Archbishop Ellerby, and that is, why do we call it Brotherhood of the Cross and Star? Well, as uh, Archbishop D.K. rightly explained, the Brotherhood is everything created by God, all working together in harmony with each other. The Cross is knowing how to endure and tolerate the indifferences of the human family. The star is the excellence, the overcoming, how we can get along with all of the creations and make it a combined brotherhood of the cross and star. Peace in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And if I may add to that, 
Christ said, as he showed to John in the book of Revelations, he said, he that overcometh, I will make him a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out. I will write upon him the name of my God, and the name of the city of my God, which is the New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my God. And I will write upon him my new name. The city has a name. The kingdom has a name. Today, he has brought the city upon the earth, a new heavens and a new earth. The owner of the kingdom calls his kingdom brotherhood. To fulfill the scriptures. And if we look, Christ actually gave us in 1 Peter chapter 2, 17. He says, love the brotherhood. the brotherhood. Why would he say love the brotherhood? Because he knows that the father is the owner and founder of brotherhood. Yes. He knew that God created brotherhood. He knew that when the father will come, he will reestablish brotherhood. Therefore, did he give the instructions to the disciples, love the brotherhood. I want to take the text from 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 17. 